What is art? You've been taught that this is art, and so is this, and this. But maybe you've had your doubts about this or this. Or perhaps you've looked at a piece of art and just didn't know what to think. And it's okay not to understand it right away. I think it's okay. I think being uncomfortable is okay. I think anything that only evokes some kind of emotion, it's almost worse if you went in and you almost felt nothing. But the only way to really get at what you may or may not like is to, to go and look at it in the first place. Essentially to experiment, which is exactly what Punto Experimental is all about. It's located at 2151 Logan Avenue, but you have to wind your way around the block to find the alley entrance to this recent addition to the Barrio Logan Art District. The name means experimental point, which sums up what Hugo Heredia Barrera wants the gallery to be. I love experimental work, and also for me the gallery is an experiment, because I never, I never ever had a gallery and I never run a gallery. Everything that happens here is some sort of an experiment. You never know how it's going to be, you never know how it's going to work. Heredia Barrera is an artist who works with glass and metal. He felt San Diego didn't showcase enough experimental, abstract, and contemporary work, art that he says people might not initially define as pretty. But it challenges people to think what it is, why the artists are using those materials, why are they using those shapes, and that's kind of like why I'm doing it. Botello welcomes the idea of having people debate what art is. A lot of my students will be like, wow, this is really interesting. I never really thought that art could be this. And I love this idea of sort of breaking down what we typically think of as art. Botello challenges expectations by employing everyday items such as cardboard, paper, and duct tape to create her sculptures. The first thing you notice about her work is the bold use of color and abstract forms. To look at life's sort of absurdities and uh, the beauty, but also really the, the fragilities of life, and then, then create those kinds of ideas in, a, in an object and to tell that story either in a literal sense, in a narrative, or in a more abstract way. If you don't immediately see a narrative in these abstract shapes, then let the artist provide some insight. The title of it's called Let It Fall because you can see how one shoe has fallen and the dog has, you know, has it in his mouth. And I think it's this idea of like how much we're willing to give to the world, to nature, and the sense of vulnerability. And it really is about interconnectedness and how every, everything in life is interconnected. So I wanted to sort of just go from these larger themes and very labor intensive to make for sure, but I wanted a sense of humor in the work too so that I can address these more serious themes. But sometimes the form itself is the narrative, as in Shine On. I just, I love this idea of, of movement. So for me it was a more formal approach, but I wanted this idea of, thing, of something moving away from a larger structure either being pulled down, the sort of this weight about it, like you don't know anymore if it's actually going to fall off the piece. So really, again, about connection in some way. Botello hopes her work inspires, even forces the viewer to walk around and look inside her sculptures and explore them from different angles. And in some places, there's these strong areas of action and then letting it sort of quiet down. But I wanted that. I wanted the viewer to feel that they can sort of explore and discover something new if they were willing to, to give it the time to do it. People will like some things and people won't like other things, but the, the, the point is to bring art that is experimental. Both artists hope people will accept the challenge presented by experimental art. And I think any time you're looking at art is you have to be open-minded. So that's what I recommend is being open to it because it is difficult if it's, if it's new to you. But new things is what helps us grow. Plus, Botello's work suggests that every one of us has the means to create art if we just look at the things around us with new eyes. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.